Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Call Me By Your Name. My personal journey with this film has been quite the roller coaster. When I first heard about it, I was pretty excited, but I didn't know much. I didn't read the book. So I was just going off of a supposed Oscar contender level LGBT romance. So naturally I was excited for that. Then that first trailer came out and I loved it. And it became one of my most anticipated films for the rest of the year. But then, it was confirmed that one of the characters was 17 while the other was a 24 year old adult. And that just kind of sliced my excitement, made me very nervous for what it was I was about to watch and actually made me contemplate how I was gonna even approach this film. But I decided, just go in, watch the film, see how everything plays out, see how everything is represented in this case. And I have to say, I kind of really loved this movie. But we will be circling back around to that age issue after we speak of the film itself. So let's go ahead and kick off those positives. First of all, the acting is stellar. Timothy Chalamet is amazing in this movie. He captures the exuberance of somebody young and curious and finding themselves. He captures the curious look within himself. He captures that hiddenness about his character. And then he captures the emotions all so well. The love, the crush, the sadness, the heartbreak. All of it is captured amazing. Army Hammer is also very, very good in this movie. Michael Stolberg is having a breakout amazing, amazing year this year with yet another fantastic performance as Timothy's father. He is so good. And that just applies to everyone. Everyone is so good in this movie. The cinematography is also stunning. The movie just looks gorgeous from beginning to end. It all looks fantastic. The direction is so good. Our director here is able to create such ambiance and atmosphere throughout the entirety of the film. It never leaves, not even for a single frame. And it makes it impossible to not get swept up into what you're watching, not get swept up and enamored with this romance. And speaking of that romance, I talked about the age at the beginning. This film does handle the whole age thing very, very well. Even today in Italy, the age of consent, I think is 13 or 14, which is outrageous, but it's a different society. It was a different time. And they made sure to kind of emphasize that with the smoking, with the drinking, with the very lax, casual nature of everything. And then this person's parents are there as a support system, giving their full, not only acknowledgement, but approval of the relationship. And they always had that sense of, we are a support system, we're a strong support system, and we think this could be something great for him. And I think that's why my concerns regarding the whole age controversy evaporated as I watched the film. The chemistry between Timothy and Army is amazing. Like it is such stellar chemistry. It doesn't feel exploitative and it never feels like the older man in the couple is taking advantage of the younger man. It is a legitimate and genuine connection. And as I said, there's everything else in place there that kind of already upholds and supports this relationship taking place. So it started off as a very big issue in my mind, but in the context of this specific film, I was put to ease by the end. Also, the like vocal music that is used in this movie is so good. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And what is also amazing, again with the director, is how it is used when it is introduced, when it is used to signify the love, and then the end credit sequence is so amazing. In the change of lyrics from that same singer and just just the end credits with Timothy Chalamet is breathtaking. It's mesmerizing and it's breathtaking. So as for negatives with this film, first of all, the piano. 
I think is gorgeous. It's beautifully played. It sounds very lovely. And it kind of comes in as somewhat of a metaphor within the film itself. However, the sound editing and sound mixing with that piano and the like musical score, I found distracting. It was so loud and overbearing every time it came in that it was like jolted me out of the atmosphere and the mood of everything else that had already been established. <laughs> My other negative does have to do with the age. I really think they played up Timothy's character's boyishness from his body build, which he is of age himself. He's 22 years old, so that's just how he looks. But they really played it up with like a backpack, with the way he dressed, with the hair. They made him look young and really played on that boyishness, especially compared to Army Hammer, who's only 29, but looks a little bit older than 29 in most cases. But I do think this film is really, really something special. It is completely encapsulating. From a technical standpoint, it's a fantastic film. It's just so well crafted. And it swept me up. It swept me up into the romance they wanted me to be swept up into. It felt so genuine. It was an amazing coming of age and self-discovery story. One of the best I think I may have ever seen. One of the most authentic self-discoveries I think I have ever seen put to film. So for that reason, I give Call Me By Your Name a full price ticket. It really is a great movie. But now, talking about film in general and our general society, I don't want to see this type of film become a norm. I do not want to see this type of relationship and this relationship structure become normalized in our film societies or in our society definitely at large. Just because it's legal in other countries and is even legal in many states here in the United States, that doesn't make it right. Somebody who is in their late teens, such as 17, and somebody who's in their mid to late 20s are in completely different points in their life. They're in completely different points in experience level, in emotional maturity, in emotional intelligence, in actual intelligence. And it is so easy for that older person to take advantage and manipulate this younger underage person. And just because this film handled it as well as they did, I do not want to see this become any type of norm. I don't think it is appropriate. And I was so taken aback with this film itself because the LGBT community in particular has had to fight off horrible stereotypes of pedophilia for decades. And I was scared to see a movie come along like this that opened the door again, that really was just like, here it is, here's your shot. And again, the LGBT community seems to just be in its own little vacuum when it comes to these standards. Because personally, even with how it was done in this film right here, I think I would have been uncomfortable if that was a 17-year-old girl falling in love with a 24 or 25-year-old man. But I think the way the LGBT community, especially in the 80s, is structured and set up with so much limitations and so much shame and so much hiding that finding that special bond with facilitation of your parents was something special to behold. But again, this cannot become a norm. I don't want to see this normalized. I don't want to hear the mantra of you can't help who you fall in love with used for somebody under age and somebody of age falling in love with each other. That is a creepy mantra. That is a creepy way to look at that. And it's just not right. So I needed to say it. It needed to be addressed as part of the discussion of this film, and I do think they need to accept that this is part of the discussion of this film as we move forward, instead of just trying to push it under the rug and pretend that it's not part of what needs to be talked about here. So that's it. <laughs> that is my review for Call Me By Your Name, as well as a little bit of discussion regarding age and relationships and how that should be unfolding moving forward and the discussion around that. I want to continue that discussion as well as discussion regarding the film itself in the comment section down below or of course you can hit me up on Twitter. Also if you did enjoy this video make sure you click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.
拜。